There's other ways to make it simpler to get your point across. My way of explaining it is get a wide base. A wide base is somewhere between two and three inches past your shoulders with each foot. If you break down to field your ground ball with the regular right-left footwork, and you have a wide base, your, your feet are two to three inches past your shoulder, which is going to be different for everyone, depending on your height. When you lay your glove down, all those things happen automatically. Your butt is down, your back is flat, your hands are out front. I like to funnel the ball back to the middle of the body. If it's inside your body, it's easy. It's right here to the middle. If it's outside your body, you get it back to your body, just like you do when you play catch in the backyard. If it's to your backhand, you get it there, but you get it back to the middle while your feet catch up. You get the ball back to the middle of the body. You funnel the ball. This is the perfect throwing position. <clears throat> From here, when I feel the ball, I like to go into the glove with my whole hand. I don't like to go in the glove with the grip. If I go in with the grip and I don't find it, I'm in trouble. If I go in the grip and it splits, I split it, I'm in trouble. I tell my infielders all the time, I'd rather the band be safe at first than safe at second. Going in with the grip leads to problems, in my opinion. If I go in with my whole hand, I can find the ball, I can find my four-seam grip as I funnel the ball here to the middle of my body. Okay, now, once I get to the ball in the middle of my body, here are four things that we as coaches tell our players all the time. And the purpose of the six Fs is once you explain it to them, then the word funnel is going to take care of all of it. We always tell the players to have a front side before they throw. Correct? Yes, we do. We also tell an infielder he has to have short arm action. He can't drop it and swing it like an outfielder or a pitcher. It has to be short. Your elbow has to be up to be a perfect throwing position. And your hand has to be behind the ball. Talk about those four, all four here in just a second. But you know what? If you funnel and you separate, once your hands get to the middle of your body and you separate thumbs down, all four of those things happen automatically. 